Okay, let's show the one ASP.NET feature. And before I go file new um, and do it, I should check that what's on my task board, which if there's nothing more important. I'm looking for one ASP.NET. Yes, I think I can pick that up today. What else could I do? Well, I could um, I could do that um, task as well. I have about 10 hours worth of work. I should be able to get some of that done today. So back uh, to Visual Studio. And my next task would be to go to my work. I wish it told me that I need to do these things. But uh, now I've got my available work items. Now I know that I've moved them into in progress, but uh, here it doesn't uh, reflect that. And that is because this is a uh, different in progress. It's in progress work. Um, a little bit confusing, but you take the ones up that you just said are in progress. And I will take that guy too, even though I just said it. So you kind of repeat yourself a little. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, well, I'll just, uh, I can only really do one at a time, so I'll just do that when I think about it. We'll go File, New, Project, and I'm looking for a web project. Here I am, and see this experience. There's only one thing to choose. This is my web application. I'll just call this Northwind Web, and I'll, that's adds to source control. That's good. I'll go OK, and this is the brand new dialog that lets me choose what I want. Well, I do want MVC. Don't want web forms. No way. I'll take Web API, one checkbox, and I've got that, and some unit tests. What authentication models do I have on offer? I want my individual user accounts because I'm looking to give my site Google um, login. I'll click OK, create the project. And this is going to go off now and create a beautiful um, web project, MVC4, and uh, some unit tests. And then I will just need to check it into my source control system. I will choose TFS over Git. And there we go. And then I guess it's just a matter of, um, oh, where will I put this? I'll put this under trunk. I wish that was there by default. And I'll go OK. And uh, if this all goes smoothly, and it looks like it has, it's just a matter of pressing F5 now and testing to see if I like the default look of this thing. So. Once I, I, you know, I'm going to just check that the responsive UI um, is working. And there we go. It's got three columns down here. I'll just uh, resize this a little. So now it's it's uh, thinner and it's got going down. So there's the responsive UI. I'm happy with that. What I'd also like to do is check the login. And I would like the login not just to give me this, my own, um, Forms authentication. I wanted to use Google login or some other Facebook login. I'll go with Google. I'll leave this running. I won't even stop it. I'll come back here and I will um, go Control, comma, and I'll look for authentication. And uh, I'll come in here. And what I can do is. Uh, just auto hide these guys. I would like just to edit this. Now I can't just edit it by doing this or I'll get changes are allowed while code is running. So no edit and continue. But what I can do is I'll put a breakpoint here on this. Now I've got a breakpoint and I'll try to restart this. I'll press restart here. My web app will restart and it will land on this line. And now I'm free to edit. That's pretty cool. And uh, then it's just a matter of continue. And we'll continue. My site will load. I will go into the login option down here. And I'll see if it's there. And there it is. Magic. Edit and continue and login. And the whole project started up in a mere matter of minutes. That's an awesome first experience.